This month's tip is don't be tricky with GD&T. Let's say that the primary datum feature on this part is going to be this smaller diameter, which will establish an axis. The secondary datum feature is going to be this face, and I want to control its relationship back to the axis. It's a 90 degree relationship, so I want to keep it perpendicular. According to the Y145 standard, there are several different controls that I could use in this case. I might consider using profile of a surface. Now profile of a surface is usually used to locate features, but in this case, since there's only a 90 degree implied basic angle here, it could be used to give me that tolerance zone I'm looking for. However, on a more complex drawing with a lot of basic dimensions and because of the rule of simultaneous requirements, I might end up getting more than I bargained for with the profile of a surface. I could use total runout, and that would control the perpendicular relationship of this feature to the datum axis. You know, I usually think of total runout on cylinders, but it would work here. I could use perpendicularity, which, you know, is what I was after in the first place. Or, according to the 2009 Y14.5 standard, I could replace perpendicularity with angularity. The standard says there's an implied 90 degree angle and it's really giving me the same control as perpendicularity. However, whenever I see that angularity tolerance, I start looking around the drawing to see if someone slipped in an 89.9 degree basic angle someplace. So there is overlap in the geometric tolerances and in this case I would have several choices. We have 14 geometric characteristic symbols in the Y14 standard, and then with the modifiers, it takes us up to about 25 symbols, which I think is just about right. These symbols are very descriptive and tutorial. They sort of guide the reader. I don't want to go to too few symbols because then people would have to assume too many things. And I don't want to go to too many symbols, which is what we're seeing today in the development of the ISO standards, where they're looking to have about twice as many symbols as we use for geometric tolerancing. In this particular case, I wanted to control the feature's perpendicularity, so why not just say perpendicular to the datum established by datum feature A? Hey. Save the tricks for your next magic show. And remember, at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next month.